Berlin by Night by M. Riff Chapter 52, The Architect Azer inquired, didn't the military recognize his incapability? The professor replied, some generals were as impaired as the architect, while others simply didn't care. They sought the architect's renowned name for the project. Despite his megalomania due to his syphilitic dementia, we can't solely blame him for the castle's grandiosity. The military assigned their own unemployed engineers, skilled in destruction, not construction. Given these circumstances, I'm amazed the edifice still stands after so long. Just then, a sizable speedboat appeared on the water. From the shadowy wheelhouse bench, the professor noted, there's Julius Fox, toying with his expensive plaything. All we can do is wait until he's done. He added, pouring more whiskey into his mug, he manufactures those advanced submersible boats, capable of underwater travel, for military use in the Persian Gulf. The professor prepared to add more whiskey when Azer interrupted, Professor, I've tended bar before. Part of my role was to caution guests against excessive drinking. It seems you're indulging in too much whiskey. The professor grinned, asserting, thanks for the concern, but alcohol doesn't affect me as much. Azer smiled, replying, I've yet to meet a drunkard who admits their inebriation. When you no longer sense alcohol's impact, that's a sign you're well into intoxication. The professor countered, no, I assure you, I'm not drunk. As though disclosing a secret, he divulged, remember the pill I took in the kitchen for epilepsy? Azer nodded. The professor divulged, it's called Lamentin. He went on, during the Cold War, the Soviets discovered a substance dampening the brain's alcohol sensitivity. KGB agents used it, during a seemingly innocent restaurant visit, to match Western dignitaries' drinking levels, extracting secrets. In the post-Soviet era, the formula was sold to a pharmaceutical company. It's effective against epilepsy, pain, and alcohol dependency. That's why I remain sober. Observing Julius Fox's boat passing the fishing vessel closely, Azer voiced concern, it came too close. Does he know we're here in the dark? The professor responded, I'm certain he does. Surviving in espionage demands that skill. He disclosed, days ago, the clinic was infiltrated, though nothing was taken or damaged. I suspect Julius Fox's involvement. Azer wondered why the professor hadn't shared this sooner. <laughs>